Maastricht is a vibrant city where the living is good. It's an interesting city to visit and an attractive place to establish a business. Maastricht's many students and cultural offerings add to the attraction. Its historical character and international spirit makes Maastricht an enormously vivid city. The people of Maastricht meet in its parks, squares and terrace cafes, enriching their social lives. The city of Maastricht thinks it is important for the city to remain an attractive meeting place in the future and has therefore set up a so-called structural concept with the motto, Space to Meet. The city of Maastricht has established the following four goals in order to remain attractive to its residents, visitors and businesses. Maastricht wants to strengthen its position as an international city. Its European character means Maastricht has a tourist and cultural allure and its ambition to become the cultural capital of Europe reinforces this aspect. Maastricht also has huge ambitions in an economic sense. Collaborating with nearby cities such as Eindhoven, Aachen and Leuven provides Maastricht with powerful and innovative opportunities. Brainport's 2020 goal is to have the Southeast Netherlands grow into a knowledge region that can compete on an international level. Realizing the health campus in Rondwijk is an important component in this sense, as is improving Euro-regional and international connections. The second way in which Maastricht will attempt to increase its allure is by ensuring that the city is robustly and sustainably accessible. The tunnel under the A2 motorway will contribute to this goal, as will partially rerouting the Northern Bridge. This will create a better traffic flow. A highly accessible city is important to Maastricht's residents. Its existing employment opportunities and business climate, as well as to its daily flow of visitors, something that is still on the rise. This is why Maastricht wants to work on sustainable accessibility to the city center using the hustled Maastricht tram and additional parking and park and ride facilities along the edges of the city center. The city also encourages the use of bicycles and public transport. Safe cycling connections and good Euro-regional and local public transport are key aspects here and the city will focus additional attention in this direction in the years to come. The third way in which the city of Maastricht will increase its allure is by creating stronger links between the countryside and the city. A rich natural presence is important to people looking to establish themselves in a city. It contributes to Maastricht's quality of life and its power to attract tourists. The city intends to link the surrounding scenic areas and this intent is embodied in such projects as River Park Mashvale, Estate Zone Husselt, and the NC Quarry. Maastricht will use these so-called green lungs to draw the countryside into the city, for example, by giving the area around the former Tapine Barracks a partially open character and making it part of the city park. The northern side will see the realization of the new Fronten Park. The city is also taking on the new task of creating more space for water. Reducing construction in the residential areas at the edges of the city will provide more space for water and plants, improving the area's quality of life and health, as well as helping to achieve a climate-resilient city. Finally, the fourth way in which the city of Maastricht will increase its allure is by transforming its existing municipal space. The city will focus here on the daily life of the people in the city and their various ways of life. The inner city has been the place to meet since time immemorial, and that's the way it needs to stay. However, the city wants to create places to meet outside the city center too, such as Rondwijk North or Belvedere. In increasing the range of opportunities for people to get together, these areas will become increasingly more attractive places to be, and so will become part of the city. Another aspect of Maastricht's policy is the creation of places for people to gather in the suburbs. This will make life in the suburbs more pleasant and will encourage social ties. 
the city wants to invest in public spaces, in walking routes, and in concentrating social facilities within important meeting places. All these points will contribute to a pleasant urban living and working environment. Maastricht's current approach to these spatial themes differs to the way it has approached this issue in the past. This is due to the fact that Maastricht was unsure of both its future needs as well as its financial opportunities. Maastricht is therefore emphasizing a gradual transformation of its existing municipal area, as it prefers to concentrate on such themes as repurposing, flexibility, and temporary use. Maastricht expects that it will require a new set of tools to reach this goal and is happy to serve as a testing ground to this end. You see, Maastricht has big plans to maintain its public areas as attractive places to meet. And now, let's get going. It's time to roll up our sleeves to bring this structural vision to fruition.